Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about one of the new strongest builds that comes with Brimstone Sands. It involves the bow like usual, however we do have the Great Sword instead now. The Great Sword allows us to have insane mobility, a lot of different utility, and a great defensive counter stance that you see there. I want to talk a little bit about this build, but I also want to show you guys this 1v3 that takes place at the start of this video. To show you guys how strong this build is, this was a great little run we had on the PTR. The PTR, we don't really even have any of the perks going for this build, and we're doing a lot of great damage and staying alive, as well as dealing, like I said, just massive, massive amounts of damage. So, we'll go over exact perks and stuff here in a minute, but looking at the damage that we're doing here, so we're only doing about 1k to this man here, because he probably has something pop, um, but here we're going to be able to get a huge combo with the crosscut, a nice counter into a nice, uh, actually a very, very nice combo from the bow. Uh, but this guy's running sword and shield, so we're going to have to focus the other guy. It does look like we're in trouble here at 1,000 health. We're going to pop a health pot and continue running. That's what makes a Relentless Rush so, so good. You're able to get out of sticky situations, and the perk even makes it better if you have it. So we'll talk about that perk, like I said, in a minute. But there's some huge outplay potential with this build. You can see the crosscut damage that we're able to do there to the guy with the sword and shield. At this point, we need to focus on the guy on top of us. We throw an explosive arrow down. We get one Relentless Rush swipe off on him. Uh, we get the Defiant Stance, I believe, right there, but we're going to switch to the bow and try to continue to just kite back until we go out with the Crosscut, doing a 3,000 hit at the very end. That's what's going to make Leeching Crosscut so good. It's one of those perks that gives you healing based on your last swipe. Um, just huge, huge. But the good counter there, uh, at this point, we just throw an Explosive Arrow, huge damage to come out and take them, like I said, in that 1v3. So the first perk we're going to focus in on today, if you're looking to build this specific build, the first one you're going to want is the Explosive Arrow. It hits Grants and Power, increasing damage by 34% for the next 10 seconds or until the next attack. So your next attack, or really in the next 34 seconds, your next attack is going to do insane bonus damage. And that's something that's going to give you more burst. And obviously burst is king right now. We also have the Penetrating Shot. Kills reduce this ability cooldown by 25%. It depends on if you're on the other gear or the bow, but it basically gives you a cooldown reduction if you're able to kill them with a penetrating shot. It's not a huge, huge deal, but this one, in fact, is. Energizing evade shot is huge. You basically gain 34 stamina or a full dodge roll and reduce cooldown by 3% after hitting a target with evade shot. I love this one for mobility. If you're looking to just stay alive and continue to kite people like we are in this video, think if I had Energizing Shot here, it would have been such an easier 1v3. But we also have the Leeching Crosscut, which this also would make it an easier 1v3. The final strike of the Crosscut heals you for 72% of the damage dealt. That's a lot of damage and a lot of healing from one ability. That'll be such a big thing to really kind of talk about in the near future when we have this build out and running. We also have the Energizing Counter, which gives us even more stamina. So, when Calamity Counter is activated, immediately gain 29 stamina, or 20 if it's on a piece of gear. So, I would probably put that one on a piece of gear, of course. But a very, very solid plus stamina bonus for two different abilities now with this build. So, that's huge as well for mobility and kiting. Activating Relentless Rush removes roots and slows. It also increases Relentless Rush's critical hit chance by 19%. So Relentless Freedom is going to be a very, very important one to make sure you're able to get out of all of these new Heart Rune abilities, like the Vines that I'm running actually on this build, and we'll talk about that Heart Rune here in just a minute. You can see the amount of damage I'm doing if you guys pause there. Uh, you'll be able to see that I have so much more damage than my teammates, and they're not doing too bad, but it's just realistically a great, great build right now. You can also see the Great Sword Tree there if you guys want to pause the video at any point in time to kind of look at these skills that I'm running, definitely do so. I just don't want to stay there too long and talk about them because you guys can obviously you know, read each ability. I want to show you guys some of the gameplay as well as my bow uh, abilities now. That was my worst round by far. I've never died so quick in my life, but I canceled my counters, so that's why I died so quick there. Um, and I'm typing that in to make sure <laughs> make sure they realize what the problem was. So we evade shot, penetrating shot, uh, explosive arrow. You guys know the abilities because we went over the perks. So you guys know what abilities we're taking on the great sword as well as the bow. But I just wanted to kind of glance over the attributes as well. So 310 dex, 200 con. That's going to be really where you want to be if you're running this build. At the very least, get to that 300 to 200 con, or sorry, that 300 dex to 200 con is going to be the bare minimum. And then if you can get up to about 310 dex, that's awesome as well. So a very, very strong build. 
but the coolest thing about this build is you're able to go light and have increased damage stamina cost is a little higher than medium but you are going to be able to you know dodge roll much farther with a light equip load so definitely continue on with a light equip load it's going to help you mobility wise and damage wise so now we're at two of two uh two to two on the actual arena itself so i want to talk a little bit about this last round but we do have a heart rune here so inflicting rend on successful hits reducing the targets uh, damage damage absorption, I should say. So huge, huge, huge to take that heart rune if you are looking to maybe help with your kiting a couple times and during these rounds. Uh, you can see my equip load at 12.7. It's going to be a medium chest and light everything else. Uh, but like I said, this is huge because I take this heart rune because it allows me to basically get out of sticky situations. So I have a great axe on top of me. I lay down the vines and I just kite backwards. So there, we took those guys out pretty much instantly, and you can see the different damages here. So we're over much higher than our teammates, and this is with, a, I think it was two rounds actually that I instantly died. The only two rounds we lost are where I threw and I instantly died because I canceled my counter. Something very, very stupid. You really won't have that problem if you're running this build, uh, but it was like, I don't know, twice in a row that I did it. So terrible, terrible of me. But overall, this build is absolutely huge. It's going to do a nasty amount of damage, a lot of sustain, and tons of mobility when paired with the bow. And I think that's why the great sword is going to be so strong. It's got that strength index equal kind of, you know, balanced, um, balanced attribute uh, scaling at the very least. So that's something that I think may need change just because this great sword is going to be utilized everywhere. I mean, everywhere. So this is the last round again. This is just that uh, that 1v3 situation again. I'm going to kind of walk us through it a little bit more here. So I'm throwing an explosive arrow out. I have full health, so we're looking okay right now. I'm trying to get some autos off, just going to weaken them down. They don't have a healer, and we don't have a healer, so it's going to be a fun little fight here in a minute. But I'm going to try to get to the backside of them. Bad evade shot. Really no reason to be doing evade shot there in case they run at me. Uh, now I don't have that ability, but... You can see that this guy's kind of in trouble. I'm trying to help him. I'm hitting some shots, but like I said, I think this guy's got some thrust gems to where it's just doing a lot less damage. Doesn't matter when we throw the great sword on top of him. He gets absolutely crushed. At this point, we do a nice evade shot into an explosive arrow. Take that guy to half health. The tower shield's starting to run at me. We don't want any of this business, but uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to take a lot of damage before we can get that relentless rush and get out of there. At this point, we do have the cross cut up, but that's the only ability. So we're trying to heal up. We're trying to get our abilities back in. We get a heavy attack to start it off. A stupid counter a little too early, but we do get a decent amount of damage on the tower shield. At this point, we hit the cross cut, and that tower shield's looking really weak. And we're also able to actually kite this guy back um, as he's missing his abilities. They're coming back in kind of staggered, which is actually really, really good for me. But it's also probably the way they need to play it so that they don't die. Unfortunately, this guy had one more dodge left, and he didn't use it to get away from that insane crosscut damage. And at this point, I know it's probably over because, you know, if I can 1v3, I can probably take out that, you know, final guy. Or 1v2, I guess. I can probably take out that final guy as well. So, huge, huge damage with this build. A lot of fun. If you guys want to know more about this build or other builds, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on.